Our first call of action in Panama was for a few of us to go and get our yellow fever shots. For this, we had to venture into the town of Cologne, which was quite the experience to say the least. Shelter Bay Marina was super social and had different events each day and night, including happy hours, nature walks, potluck dinners, aqua fit, and music nights. Straight off the bar. Whilst in Panama, we had a few birthdays in the family. Hooray! 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 Hoo
aggressive monkeys on this island. to the sandblast, Gideon and Andrew were super eager to test their freediving. They were reaching depths between 40 and 50 feet. That's good. Uh, yeah. He's not going anywhere. Yeah. I want ten thousand dollars. We'll go back to the side. I'm richer than you. So hold oh, on, Mayo, Mayo. So here's the rules, right? Right here. Read that out. <laughs> Winning prizes of one to five to twenty-five and fifty may claim wherever mail or in person. Okay. Where, do, where are we supposed to send it to? Tickets of hundred dollars or more must be sent by mail or in person to the Money Ferry, one two three, Nowhere Drive, in Make Believe Land. Valid only in your dreams. <laughs> to a real or oh, implied that's large. That's true. <laughs> oh, that's true. Hey, for full. April. On one of the islands, the locals had left a monkey chained up to a tree whilst they went fishing. So whilst they were out, we went over to have a look at him. It was a bit sad seeing him chained up, however upon their return the locals did untie him. He doesn't know what to do. No, Gideon, he's got sharp teeth, mate. Ah. Yeah, there he does know what to do. He does know what to do. <laughs> shark, Malaga, there's a shark. Oh my gosh, there's a shark right there. Can you see it? One afternoon, after being inspired by some other boats, Gideon, Malachi, Andrew and I took it in turns, scurfing on the sup behind the dinghy. Go! 
Whilst in the sandblast, we were visited by a few locals trying to sell their traditional fabric art pieces called molas. The molas were gorgeous and most of them took months to complete. Sadly, our short time in the sandblast had come to an end, and it was time to head back to the marina to prepare for our voyage into the Pacific. <laughs> 